Hello, this is Matthew Miller with the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. In front of me, I have the HTC One, the international version, and I've been running through some different videos and articles and wanted to kind of walk through some of the camera software functions that you'll see with the new Ultra Pixel camera on the back of this device. Okay, so let me just jump into the camera. I guess we'll go to the camera software just to kind of show you a little bit of this. Uh, okay, so what we see here is on the right, you know, if you tap that, that goes to your gallery. This first button is for taking a picture. The bottom one, as soon as you tap that, will start the video. And then at the bottom, we see this uh, funny icon. Tap on that, and it's actually filters, you know, so you can apply some, some different filters to your photos as you get ready to take them, kind of uh, Instagrammed kind of filters and things. Okay, you can also apply those later after the video, which or the picture, which is what I like to do. I don't, I don't do too many right at, uh, at capture. And then of course there's the uh, the digital zoom option right there. And then on the left side we see there's the toggle for the flash, auto, on, and off. And then the middle button is a Zoe button that I'll explain here in just a second. Actually, let's capture Yoda here. And then on the bottom we see is all of the different camera software um, and toggles and things so we have the camera toggle between front and main we've got our scene modes if we tap on this drop down excuse me so we have normal and that's the selected one night hdr sweet panorama we've got different capture modes for uh, video slow motion video hdr which i think is the first times we've seen that uh, let's see, we've got timer, the number of seconds crop, video quality, review duration, image adjustments, exposure contrast saturation, sharpness, those kind of things, continuous shooting, a limit to 20 frames, auto review, in case you want to just hold down and shoot, lock focus in the video is on or off, the grid, auto upload, and you can choose uh, different services for that. I don't have that set up right now. So that's kind of a quick overview of the software. Now, um, I have it on full uh, still picture quality. Now, if I tap on Zoe, this toggles the Zoe capability. And as you saw, it just switched from the, uh, the regular screen full quality I had to a more widescreen because Zoe is really a video. Now, I'll push the camera button to capture it. But as I do, watch the camera icon over here it'll change to uh, it'll, red will go across and it'll time how much uh, time is being captured so we tap this you see the red going across and it's capturing that part of that snippet of video so if i go back here yes let me let, <laughs> let me capture another one because that was lame where i didn't have movement so oops i went back too far so let me go over the camera Let's tap a Zoe and we'll we'll move Yoda. How about that? So Hello. Send me the force. Okay, and then if we tap that. Okay, so that's a Zoe. Now that's three different ways to capture video, Zoe, and still pictures. And again, there's the Zoe toggle. It goes back to the camera settings I had. So now the big thing is, what do I do with all of that captured information? So let's go jump into I can never remember the toggles they have now for this uh, new system. So let's go to the gallery. And inside the gallery, this is the main gallery page. Okay, And as you can see, that's the little Zoe I took is, is moving around there every once in a while. It has my photos, friends, because I have set up uh, different services such as Facebook photos coming in I thought I had Dropbox but maybe I don't have it set up but you can see as I scroll through this is kind of my gallery view right now if we jump up to the top I'm really just interested at this point in my photos so I tap on my photos so now it shows the photos and the different services you can set up for that right and down at the bottom, there's some video highlights and some screenshots, and even the screenshots moving. So if I go into my photos, camera shots, you'll see that 
this is an active gallery. You know, there's some Zoe's that you can see throughout this that are actually moving. Should show the, uh, there's the one, there's the Yoda one moving that I just did. So you can kind of see what you have here. You have, and there's video with the play icon on it. So we have videos, we have Zoe's, and we have still pictures all mixed in there. So then you can do your normal thing where you tap on it and you share, um, you know, you share your picture out to uh, social networks or whatever else or via email. Now, if I was to tap on one single picture, such as this picture of flowers I took, I can tap on that and I see options at the bottom. One of them, if I tap share, of course, there's an editor and I'm not going to run through the photo editor. This is really about Zoe share and, and video highlights. So if I tap share, a new page pops up it says HTC share it automatically brings together Zoe's photos and HTC highlights okay so then I'll say oh you know you can toggle that on and off but we'll say check it out so now it brings in the first picture that I had I can add a title up here I can add a description you know uh, flowers and then you'll see there's upload and it will upload to a, a website a Zoe HTC server called the Zoe share website and it'll give you the specific link before we do that though, let me just go ahead and you can tap up here. You can see there's settings and then there's a plus. If I add plus, I can add some more items. So I'll add another couple pictures of the uh, flowers, um, one of the one of the uh, fountain there. And you can see that I could add video to it. I could add uh, Zoe shares to it, which are, like I said, those are the, uh, the moving the moving pictures and things like that so I'll, I'll add this one to it how about that and then I say next so now it has all those you can see there say if I have a description I'll say test and then if you wanted to remove content and go and replace it with another item you can or just remove it so you can fully edit it and then when you say upload it's going to now upload that media to a Zoe share site and it will give you a link this is would be short let's see now you can't do anything else in the gallery why this is uploading to the Zoe share or HTC share excuse me I keep on mixing Zoe and, and HTC because this HTC share actually will have Zoe's videos and still pictures in it and I'll have a couple links to a couple in my uh, in my post so you can actually go visit um, and, and see the different content that I have on a full web browser as well. I'll share those. It creates a URL that is unique to that specific content, and I haven't yet found a way to, to view all my content. And keep in mind, this is a first generation. So then, all set. HTC Share Collection were made available for 180 days, give you by anyone who receives this specific link. So then you can share that link to Facebook, Twitter, and all these different... Um, all these different sources, right? I, I've been doing it to like my email and things like that so that I can go back and, and find those links, okay? So I'll just uh, save that to my email. Just so I have that link that I can share with you in this post later. And let's jump back into the gallery. So that is uh, the HTC share. And I showed you the Zoe's and the still pictures. Now there's one other part of this that I saw and I was like, wow, these are really cool little highlight videos with some music and uh, some some you know transitions and things like that. How do I make those? I have to be honest with you. I don't know if it's because this is still not the final firmware, but I haven't yet really found a good way <laughs> to make the video highlights from uh, original, just like tapping it and going. So what I do is I go to up here, I go to events, and this is the method I've been using lately. And you can see events will will do uh, show you certain events and kind of toggle through things. So I know that when, it, when one of these pops up that's um, a video highlight that I've created already. I'll wait till they toggle through some of these things. I'm looking for my daughter's basketball one here. I haven't yet found and remembered how I did the very first one. But I learned that after I did that, I can now go in and uh, and start with one that's already existing and then I'll show you what we do here as soon as uh, refreshes okay I must have missed it let's see turn back to albums I really need to figure this out I've asked HTC I haven't gotten a response yet to, to figure out where this 
where this ability to create these comes from. Okay, so there's one I had before. So I'll go in here. So I, what I do now is I start with one that's already existing. And in the upper right, you can say select content. So I'll go in here and you can say deselect all. And then I kind of start over, right? So let's, let's go through. Let's see those Yoda pictures. Uh, they're not in here. Oh, that's because this is the timed event. Let me see if I can create this from scratch. Sorry. I'm still learning this device. So we tap in here. Okay, so there we go. It created one. If it created one, I didn't even know it. Okay, you know, I'm learning this. It's creating them automatically. Man, I, I've got to figure this out. So it created it automatically. I'll just actually let you play it, let it play the automatic one. Interesting. So what it's doing is it's creating uh, these video highlights that are 31 seconds. It's creating them from content that I capture in what it is figuring out our event uh, episodes. Now, I'm not sure what the break point is between times and how often and if that's daily. Um, again, this is first iteration. So it created that automatically, which is very cool, much better than the uh, way I was going back and having to customize things. Now what you can still do, even though one has been created automatically by the device, is you can still go in and select content. And then if I had more pictures in that event, I can toggle them on and off and go through the process. You can also do is save that as a video and then share that in Facebook and other places, or share that even in a, in a Zoe share. You could share that highlight video, pictures, Zoe, and the highlight videos all in one go back you can also come down here now there is six different themes and music so let's uh, let's run through these i'm actually gonna actually i'll include the video of my daughter basketball with all all of these in uh, in a in a in this video so following this you'll see all six with my daughter playing basketball all six different themes i won't do it here on this particular video because that was a, a better pictures and things like that you don't need to see yoda more than that so that's a quick walk around and during this video, I learned something just like you did. So there's still pictures, video, Zoe's, which are like a three second uh, video clip. And then you can create Zoe share, which includes Zoe's pictures, videos, and video highlights. And you can also create video highlights, which are the ones that have the uh, themes, pre-selected themes. And what I also just learned as we were recording this is that the HTC One automatically will create video highlights based upon the events that you are taking pictures of. And then you can go back and modify that. Overall, a great camera experience. So far, everyone that I've shown this to is quite impressed. And now I just have to evaluate what kind of quality we're getting with the still pictures and some low light testing with the Nokia Lumia 920 and that kind of thing. Thanks everybody for watching.